Hello. So I recently found an interesting website called shypoliceboard.org. Here exists a collection of misconduct allegations put forth by the superintendent. This occurs when it is the superintendent's intent to suspend the Chicago officer for more than 30 days or terminate their employment. Visitors can browse cases dating back to 1999 and review each distinct rule of conduct violation. This website only displays cases which reach the police board, approximately 3 to 5 percent of total complaints. Anyways, I thought it would be cool to parse out all rule-breaking vocabulary for each case. I contacted the site owners about getting the data, but they haven't responded to me, so I'm just going to parse it myself and make a word cloud or something. I'm going to use regular expressions to parse HTML. <laughs> Alright, so I've started a little C-sharp council application called Parse the Police. Here I'm calling a single case's URL, accepting it into a string, and outputting the string. If we run this application, we see we get back the HTML that belongs to this page for the very first case. For each case, we want to be able to pull every single rule and count for that rule. In order to do this, we're going to take a look at the source code and try to identify distinct sets of characters which surround the content that we want. For example, I bet that if I try to parse everything which begins with this and ends with that, from every single case page, I will be able to obtain every single rule violation which could potentially exist within that case. So here I've got my regular expression for obtaining all the rule violations for every single case. This pattern here is the important part. This essentially says get me everything before this and after this and get me all occurrences of each of each occurrence of that pattern. So here I've got a match collection, then I'm iterating through the match collection for each match. I am setting a string variable to the rule that was violated and I'm removing um, the beginning and end. So all I'm going to have is rule 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So if we run this for the very first case, we see that the officer violated rule 11. Let's check that with the website. If we go to case 1, we will see that rule 11 was violated. Let's test to see if the pattern will work for more than one page. Now, in order to do that, we simply have to iterate over the URL variables. So there we go. I've decided that I'm only interested in parsing out rule 14 from every single potential case file. So if we take a look at the code, you can see that I've extended some of the logic here to look for if the entire HTML string for any given case page contains the characters rule 14, then using this pattern here, to grab this chunk of text and then within this chunk of text parse out every single occurrence of these tags which represent the vocabulary for the count violation for rule 14. So if we run the application you can see as it iterates through every single case page if rule 14 happens to be found, it will collect each count. Here I've created an output string variable which is going to be an aggregate of all of my count vocabulary for rule 14 violations. You can see here that I'm cleaning up the string by removing the DD tags from each occurrence. Um, 
I had uh, thread that sleep here so I was not too cruel to the web server providing me the HTML responses and I'm saving the output aggregate of count vocabulary into a text file on my C drive. Um, also, I realized that not every single case responds with a page such as case 30 which responds with uh, not found or something along those lines. So I added the entire application, surrounded it with a try-catch statement so it will ignore those errors. Now let's try to run the entire application and hopefully towards the end of it, once it iterates over 505 pages, which I know is 505 max, because if I browse most recent cases, I can see that 505 is the very last one. And it does contain a rule 14, so actually we should change this to 506, so 505 is actually included in my iteration. Uh, let's try it. Moment of truth time. All right, looks like we have our file. Let's take all of our output vocabulary, paste it into wordle.net, and create a word cloud. Hmm. Not really sure what I was expecting, but thanks for watching.